Welcome to the video. I haven't made one in a while. Uh, thank y'all for stopping by. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, so basically here at the shop, I have been moving more towards a breeding farming operation. And as of right now, I am actually showing some success. I am new at it. I am trying to become a fish breeder. So uh, if I say anything that's incorrect, you know, leave it in the comments below. Let me know. Uh, I'm always willing to learn. But I came in today and I may tell you a story about the angelfish, but long story short, I got wigglers with my angelfish, and I have a proven breeding pair of German blue rams, and now my mystery snail eggs are hatching, so I have some success. Check it out. Okay, so first off, let's talk about my angelfish endeavor. So basically, um, a local guy stopped by and he dropped off two adult angelfish that were, they were probably you know, five or six inches from uh, top to bottom, and they were a male-female pair. They were here in what I call gin pop, and uh, I came in one day and they had laid eggs. So I'm like, holy dang, I... Uh, got a breeding pair of angelfish. So I went out and I bought a 55 gallon tank to set up for just a breeding tank uh, to learn how to do it. I've never done it before. And those two fish laid about 10 clutches of eggs or groups of eggs. And um, they would last three days, they would all turn white and then they would disappear. Come to find out the parents were eating the eggs. So I ended up setting another tank up uh, to put uh, just the eggs in and some uh, sponge filters and stuff like that just to hatch out the eggs and same thing three days they all turned white got fungus and they didn't disappear in this one but they were definitely fungus over they did not hatch so after trying and trying and trying thinking that I was doing something wrong the uh, female actually uh, died I came in one morning and she was on the struggle bus you could tell she was doing spirals, not good, don't normally come back from that. So I got her out of there and I realized that she was actually laying eggs up until this point. So I landed on thinking that the male was actually sterile. So I ended up putting the male in a 180, one of my client's tanks, so he's happy in his old age. And I put four more in here. Into, uh, over here in the 55 gallon from here that I could see was male and female. One pair, after two days being put in here, they actually bred and now I have wigglers and I'm going to show you all a video of that here in a second. So here they are. You can't very, uh, you can't tell very well, but as you can see, about 75% of these are, have little tails coming out and they are wiggling. I'm excited about it, so here in the next couple days we'll figure it out. Gotta get some brine shrimp ready, don't I? And here, here's the parents. They're actually pretty small fish, they're pretty young. I'd say these fish are around six months old. And this is the German Blue Ram pair that I have that actually bred for the first time. And uh, I had eggs, I had, they were all fertilized just about. And three days later, they went ahead and they ate them. I assume when they started wiggling, that's when they've gotten eaten. But as you can see, they lay on the flat rock, and this dish right here is really cool. And this is my main mystery snail hatch out, grow out tank. Um, as you can see, I have lots of babies coming. This right here is my main mystery snail breeding tank. Look at all this algae. I know a lot of people think that algae is uh, gross and unwanted, but I think that's just beautiful. All kinds of stuff live inside of it, all kinds of stuff feed off of it. It's a great natural food source. And I believe that's one reason why I have so many clutches of uh, mystery snail eggs. And these are just your uh, standard issue cherry shrimp. They have been breeding for a while. Uh, I probably have three or four generations in there. 
as many of you seasoned aquarists know, what I'm doing is not difficult stuff. It's the beginning stuff. Like I said, I'm, I'm starting to learn how to do this, to become a breeder, and I have some success going on. Uh, angelfish are somewhat relatively uh, easy to breed. The mystery snails, of course, are easy to breed. I have already done the mollies and the platies and the guppies and uh, the cherry shrimp. So I'm learning. I'm, I'm trying to start at the start and I'm going to try to finish at the end. So if y'all have stuck it through this long, I very much appreciate it. If anybody has any tips, tricks, or anything at all, just leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to share, of course, do that as well. Thank you for y'all's time. Y'all have a great weekend.